Ah, hey, there we go. Cool. Okay, I'm glad. I wasn't saying anything important, but I did do a really good clap, so you missed out. Um, <laughs> wow. That's the first time I've ever started the stream and just not seen my mic was sending stuff. So cool. Sick. Um, anyways. Hello everybody, welcome to the stream. It is being our stream. It is the 31st of October 2022. I hope you are having a wonderful Halloween. And if you're not having a wonderful Halloween, then you're spending it indoors with me. Um, uh, I was just commenting in that silence when my mic was not working that the, uh, my soapbox is not, it's, it's getting 504s. Which is good fun. I've got to double check on why Soapbox is giving 504s. Um, let's see if I can just send the alert through the thing and will it work? We'll see. Oh well. I don't think it's really liking me, so. Um, yeah, I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, today I will be finishing, maybe, Resident Evil. I have the feeling that, like, when people say it's six hours and I've already spent six hours, I have the feeling I'm probably almost there. Uh, so, let's dump, dump? Let's dump into it, shall we? Here we go. So, um... Yeah, I've got the hunch. I've got one hunch of where I need to go. Um... The not hunch is I... I think in the last stream, basically, we went down, or, we, well, we had the, the, the Huggables, and the Huggables gave me a lot of, a lot of mess in the mansion, but eventually I figured it out, and, uh, we got past all the Huggables, there was a big snake, again, and then, uh, I went into the basement, no, into the sewer, and, uh, there was another big spider, and I shot the spider, and, uh, yeah, I choose to forget that there was a big spider, but I will get there. Um, I know I've got two cranes in my inventory. Oh, and I went into the, um, the, the place here, but I know I've got two cranes, and I don't need them. I'm sorry, two crane. I don't need you anymore. So let's put two crane back in the box where it belongs. Here we go. Uh, and then I've got the wolf metal. And I'm pretty sure there's an eagle medal. Was there any other things? The medals are the keys to continuing. Now the only problem is I'm really, really shy on ammo. I don't know if I should bring the knife or just call it. Like just kind of go like, I'm just going to run. I'm just going to ignore things. Um, I clearly don't know what I'm doing. That's the important thing. Uh, and this is the bit that's kind of going to terrify me. Uh, as, as spooky as a Halloween should be. I don't know, like, last stream, I struggled with, um, making a bit of progress and then dying. And having to try again and make a little bit more progress and dying. I at least was glad that there wasn't much, like, learning to trial and error too much. Like... I think every time I died, I always made a little more progress the next time. So, there was never a moment when I just didn't know what I was doing. Um, but I have a feeling that near the end of the game, that's going to change on me. <coughs> but I don't know. Um, the laryngitis cough, it's mostly gone. Um, more mostly gone than last time, but... Uh, um, a little bit there, so we'll, we'll work around that. Um, so anyway, so there's this whole place down here. The whole basement. And I believe... Where the lift is at the other side is where I need to go. Now, I also think there's not any enemies here, so... Let's double check that the soapbox sent. Oh, it did send. Cool. Okay, so... I think that was me sending it. I don't think that was Sengi sending it, so I don't need you, Sengi. Okay. Uh, there's the Indiana Jones. Let's figure out which way, because I know that going left. I think going to the boulder... No, to the boulder was the correct way this time. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you will be pleased to know I don't have tech news. I think there's... Uh, I've been drowning people with tech news, and I feel like... Uh, I kind of fancy it a lot, but I've got um I've got different topics and one's more specific to games and less on tech. 
Uh, but, oh yeah, the snakes. Um, that's a save room, so let's try and get past the snakes. I have lured the snakes to that way. <coughs> uh, but yeah, no, I, I feel, I feel like, uh, I mean, I guess, it's like, not everyone goes out for Halloween, uh, you know. You do, you do what you want to do, and here I am playing a spooky game. I don't think I even was playing a spooky game last Halloween. What day of the week was Halloween last year? I know I did five streams of Halloween, so I think maybe it was like the 30th. Um, but yeah, no, it is Halloween for everyone. Hallow's Eve, tomorrow's Hallow's Day. Um, so this is the thing, this is the place. Uh, and this is definitely like a signal to continue the game, so to speak. But there's a picture of a wolf inside a carved hollow. Well, there's a wolf metal, let's use that. And there you go. Now we go around here, and this is not interactable. It looks, it's kind of confusing. But then I go up to here, and there's a picture of an eagle. Sick. I love eagles. I hate eagles. I've never said hi to an eagle, but anyway. Did I just mash the buttons? I just mashed the buttons. I, I think I hit square. Do I reboot? Do I show that? This is... Ah, oh, this is a big fault of mine. Alright, I'm assuming... Oh, actually... Either that or that just opened the thing in the middle. Oh, that opened. Okay, that opened the door in the middle. Man, I shouldn't have been mashing buttons. Tom's gonna yell at me on that one. Yell at me, please. I started the stream late and I mash buttons. And then there's another lift and it goes down, but... <coughs> Ooh. But this is very ominous, I'll tell you that. Now, I don't think... It's a crazy mystery. Who the bad guys are in Resident Evil. I think everyone kind of talks about it. Uh, so it's hard to keep it a very secret. Okay, we got stairs. We got door. Let's check the sign. The sign will be a big one. Emergency exit. Will not open. Oh, will not open un unless under first class emergency. So I assume this is locked. And there's a plate on. Yeah, okay, cool. Uh, that's the one. Okay, stairs it is. There's a ladder, will you descend it? Yeah, sure. Now, I'm thinking, I probably want to just run past most enemies, but if they're the huggers, I'm going to be kind of screwed anyways. Okay, we got a box, so it doesn't really matter, but like, I've only got 18 bullets. Uh, and let's, uh, make sure that's loaded. And seven shotgun shots, and the shotgun shots are fine, but, uh, the huggers use a lot of shotgun shots. Now, I have other kinds of ammo, I've got a bit of flame rounds, I've got acid rounds, magnum rounds. I'm gonna bring the the magnum rounds on me. I don't know if the magnum rounds get like used by anything there, but <coughs> well, you know, if I if I die, then we get to see the cutscene. So here we go. Okay, zombie. Dead end. Cool. What's the map? Just look at the map before you go. Okay, we've got stairs and another door. Let's try and go for the other door. Let's lure him over to the left side, or he can... Yeah, okay. Lots of wiggle room there. Okay, we've got another one. Two herbs. Ooh! Ooh! Sick dodge! Um, this is a desk. Hi, yes, 911. Let me take the modisk. Sure. Did I get another modisk? Sure, okay. And it's electronically locked. Sick. Visual data room. Sick. Okay, cool. Whew. <laughs> Not to- oh. <laughs> Press the use key. Press the interact key. Down the stairs we go. <clears throat> oh boy, that's a big one. That's a big one. That is a big one. At least they give you a door here. You can at least look at him and go, ooh, terrifying. <clears throat> There's another door. Is there anything else in this room with me? That's just a fire extinguisher. Oh boy, lots of doors. Let's go on the closest one. You know, first door is the best door, right? Yeah. Ooh, it's very dark. Does this turn on the lights? There's a switch. Can you push it? Yeah. Wah! Workable mirrors, RTX on. Someone used this recently. Oh. We got a box. Please be ammo. Yeah, yeah. 
bit more ammo. Nice. As a herb, but it's an air conditioner switch, but it's broken. Oh, I hate it when the aircon's broken. Something is written on the picture. I want to say it's Egyptian hieroglyphics, but no, it's not hieroglyphics. This is like a specific... Uh, I don't know, it's not Egyptian. Someone's going to tell me it's like, oh, it's, it's, um, it's, it's Nordic something. I don't know my characters. I also have no idea what this is particularly saying. <coughs> I'm sorry. Uh, if I had to take a guess, the top left one's saying tree, because you got two co common letters there. The top right one's saying apple. Um, I was going to say Adam and Eve, but the bottom one's got five characters, so... Also, Eve's the one holding the apple on, on the right, so I don't know if we're going with that one. Uh, I could take the herb, but um, I think my inventory's a bit cramped. Is this another one where you push the bookshelf? Yep. Listen, by this point in the game, it's easy to, to figure that one out. There's a switch. We push it. I have made the room blue. Oh, do we get notes? Researcher's letter. June 8th, 1998. Dear Ada. Ada. By the time you read this, I'll be something different. Today's test turned out to be positive, just as one I, uh, just as I expected. Oh, congrats. I feel like I'm going crazy when I think about becoming one of them. Ada, you're not infected, and I hope you never will be. In case you're the last one left, take the material in the visual data room and go to the power room to operate the triggering system before you escape, and make all this public through the media. If everything is in order, all the locks can be opened by the security system. You can access the system if you log in with my name from the terminal in the small lab and enter the password. The password is your name. To unlock the door at B2 where the visual data room is located, we'll need to access with our names first, then enter another password. I've written the code below. I'm sure you'll understand it easily. And this is my last hope. If you find me completely changed, please kill me yourself. Password, more moon runes. But the moon runes probably tie in with the... John Ada, okay. Moon runes probably tie in with uh, this. Oh, well, now I don't even have to figure it out now. Okay. So tree, apple, man, woman. Okay, that's the puzzle. So then I turn the switch off. And I know it says tree, apple, man, woman. See, I figured that one out by myself, man. Alright, so tree, apple, man, woman. And then we want to go to the file... And uh oh gosh, what's the was it this the research is like yeah here we go. <clears throat> so what are we doing? We're doing uh M with the X loop quaver M M with the X loop quaver M. Okay, so M with the X is uh M. Um. The loop would be O, the quaver would be L, and the regular M would be E? Mole? M-O-M-E? M-O-L-E? Okay. Sure. Okay, well I learned a lot in that room, but... Do I feel like I know what I'm doing? Not particularly. I've got two MO discs, and that one's locked, cool. <clears throat> Passcode panel. You do not have the passcode. I mean, I guess the electronic door, maybe I can go back up to it and now open it. Sure, okay. Uh, oh yeah, I guess I can- oh. I'm assuming that guy really bites. He does really bite, okay, cool. Oh, there's two of them. I gotta, hold on, I gotta get past you. And it's locked from the inside, cool. Power room, the door is locked, cool. Oh my gosh, really? Okay. Oh. Ah, no. Nope. I think I botched this one up. See, I wanted to run past all of them, but I think, uh, you might not be able to run past that guy. Those guys. 
Uh, now I've got a dart pass a few in the, in the room. This computer is used to opening electronic locks. Can we turn on? Yeah. Wow. The internet is wonderful. I love how I can see their logo five times on the screen right now. <laughs> there you go. Uh, hey, who deciphered the password in time? Heck yeah. Oh crap, the password was... Wait. Okay. Yep, be angry, please. Go look out. No mouse! Who needs a mouse on, on keyboards like this? Okay, uh... What was the username? I didn't... I didn't... Know the username in my head. Uh, hold on, wait. My name from the terminal. Who's your name? Who is your name? John. Okay, John Mole. Got it. Dude, logins in, like, Enterprise is hilarious, because it's just like, what do you do? Like, you're, you're relying on... Only one person at Umbrella having the name John. Or at least he could be just the first one called John. Uh, I, I know of people where it's like... Okay. Let's, let's see. It's like they gotta have a two in their name. It's just like the, the second one. John Mole. <sighs> huh? That was it, right? That that was that was the password. He wrote it down. He wrote down the password. We need access with the name with our names first, and then another password. Yeah, it's four letters. M the the loop was in woman, and then that one was L and that one was E. Because they were both at the end of Apple. <laughs> right? The password is your name. Oh. Oh. Pst, pst. To log in, it's it's her name. And then the next password is mine. Pst. I can read. I can read. I got it. So John. Uh, Ada. And then Mole. Gosh, you gotta boot it every time? Come on, Jill, just leave the computer on. Who cares? Ruffles. Okay, so John. Great keyboard, by the way. I want a keyboard that's like this. Makes it easy to type stuff. So Ada. Oh, dang it. Hold on. Bzz. There you go. Don't know, she was like legitimately typing the keys. Select floor, uh, B2, I guess. And now, and now this will t ask me for a password. Yeah, so I need another password, so then I type mole. There we go, I'm a smart cookie. Hey, hey, just point at the screen. That's a pretty small floor, I'll tell you that, though. And then if I turn on B3, will this just open it anyways? Like, I don't need a password for B3? Sick. Okay, B3 is a bit bigger. That looks like a boss room at the end. Nothing special. It's me. Okay, what's on the floor here? You take these slides? Slides, okay. Uh, so if, if I had to obviously piece together the plot, I'd basically say uh, people made zombie virus in the labs and I'm literally in the lab. I don't know why. We wandered into the middle of the woods, where there were these zombie dogs, or something. I think that was just reports. I think that was the whole reason why we were here. Actually, we were lured here. We wanted to be, like, ground zero for the zombies, I guess. 
There's nothing in this room other than slides and... There's like a whole, whole shelf in the back here and you're telling me none of it's useful. Okay, and what about this? What about that? Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, so, okay, I've got a bit more bullets. Maybe I should engage in this guy? I'm gonna die immediately if, if he hugs me, but we'll see. How about let's just keep, like, walking down. Oh, I could just loop? I could just loop. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, that's kind of awkward. How about let's unload him and then come back for the, the door. Actually, let's go upstairs, because there's nothing else upstairs. Maybe they're kind and they put a save up there. Um, also, did I just get a map of the whole lab? I did. Nice. Okay. So I'm in this corridor. This corridor would loop back around. Um, looks like there's a mystery room to my right. And then... Oh, let's check out if any of these opened. Okay, cool. This opened. Um, and then I can go back upstairs, because it looks like it was just the one slide floor room. Oh, hi. Jeez, bro. Jeez. How many bullets was that? Six? That was less than the huggers. Maybe they are shotgunnable. Maybe they are, like, not too, not too mean on the shotgun. But, yeah. Uh. Oh, boy. Well, the bad news is I don't have too much shotgun ammo to go around. But, man, there were three guys in that room. Three whole guys. Can you believe it? Can't believe it. Welcome to the world of survival horror. Population me. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's sort out the inventory again. Uh, put away the cranks. Get the other metal. Okay, da da da. Where's the metal? Where's the metal? Cool. I didn't find a single enemy until uh, the two zombies on the upper floor. And I walked past them. Because I'm awesome like that. Um, but yeah, I've been playing a bit of uh, newer stuff this week. Um, so the big one I want to mention is uh, Nintendo Switch Sports. That's right, I played a game released this year. Amazing. Uh, Nintendo Switch Sports introduced me to a terrible trend uh, which is called games that aren't necessarily always online but they pretty much are. Game, games where I, I, I've played other games like this. Um, have you ever played SimCity 2013? That's a bit of the same boat um, where it's just like if you don't have online, actually SimCity 2013 was legitimately like they wouldn't let you play it if you weren't online. But um, yeah, with Nintendo Switch Sports, the first thing I noticed was one, I don't have a Switch Online membership. Um, just because I don't play my Switch a crazy amount. I don't particularly find that it's like crazy worth my value. Um, so I was just like, yeah, that's fine. I'll play the game, you know, we'll, we'll enjoy it. Wii Sports doesn't have online, so why, why should I worry about this? Um, and uh, the first thing I was greeted by was like, oh, you know, play, play against bots. Instead, you can't play online, but you can play against bots. Sure, okay. There's six sports. Sure, I'm trying them out. And the bots are, they start off really easy. They're not doing too hard. Uh, once you've done a bit of stuff, you can unlock a cosmetic. Um, and I was introduced by the game's uh, cosmetic system, which actually isn't too bad. There's basically um, three pages of cosmetics available at a time. And the cosmetics cycle every week, as in one page goes away and a new page is added. So every page would last there for three weeks. Um, on the page, there are 12 random, uh, 12, well, 12 things to unlock, um, and every time you gain, you know, 100 points, uh, you pick which of the cards you want to unlock from, and it randomly picks one of the remaining things to unlock. You then unlock it, naturally, and then, yeah, eventually you will pretty much unlock everything on the page, uh, where you then get, uh, a special reward. And I'm like, oh, that's a neat little cosmetic system, sure. Um, but as a free player, as someone who doesn't pay for Switch Online, I can't even say I'm a free player. It's a paid game. It's a game that costs 70 bucks. Um, uh, I was prompted after my second one. Yeah, there's a cutscene I didn't see. Oh, it just drains the water. And opens the door. 
Very ominous. Um, I was prompted with, uh, <laughs> since you don't have Switch Online, you can only get two of these cosmetics in a week. And I was like, eh, they're gonna disappear, and you force me to basically only get two of them. Um, and you don't even get to choose which two. Well, you get to choose which of the pages you want, but ultimately, like, you know, 12, 12 or 13 of them are going away at the end of the week, and you only get to have two random ones. So I was like, stop it. I'm playing online. Uh, what I then realized again is uh, Switch Online servers are not exactly the best. Um, I think it's it's playable for Switch sports. None of the games are particularly too latency bound, except for the sword fighting. The sword fighting is horrendous. It's really atrocious. Um, and, uh, like, one guy has the lag. Or both guys have the lag. And you end up kind of just wailing past each other in the sword fighting, dealing with the lag. But, uh, it's not much of an issue with, um, tennis, with badminton, with volleyball. Um, ooh, quick dodge. Okay, where's this guy chilling? Oh, wrong way. Ooh. Um, yeah, it's, it's not legitimately, like, too bad with, um, uh, with, uh, the online there. Um, football's not too bad, and what's the last word? Bowling? Yeah, bowling doesn't matter, because bowling's completely async. Um, so, yeah, those are the six sports. There is golf coming soon. I am playing ahead of the free golf DLC. I probably will enjoy the golf a fair bit, um, because I, I am a good sucker for, uh, decent mildly decent golf i absolutely adore um pga 2k 21 um if anyone can get that game for mildly cheaper than what they charge because they charge 100 bucks australian that's a lot of bucks but if you can get it for a bit cheaper uh that game is very very nice fun um and it, it just plays so nicely i i really enjoy it um uh the um yeah, the other sports are fine, uh, but the other kind of weird thing as well is that it's like, it's not, there's not too much, um, to do necessarily, because one thing I realize is, uh, now right now they're doing double, um, experience for, uh, I guess Halloween, so, uh, but it took me about an hour and a half to get all 12 unlocks on one of the pages, so multiply that by three, four and a half hours, and I got all three weeks worth of unlocks um the game kept prompting me every hour to stop playing i was like oh you might be getting tired i'm like no i'm good i'm good i was just doing bowling it's really not like that intensive um so uh yeah it was kind of weird but like the unlocks are fair it doesn't require you to grind crazy amounts and also you can only equip so many of the unlocks uh so, and it's Halloween, so I was wearing the spooky mummy outfit and a witch hat and having spooky, like, little reactions. That's fine, that's all cool, and I actually, I, I really enjoy that. Um, I guess as well, I was like, yeah, it's, 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 it's like a battle pass, I don't know, you're not paying extra for it, so. It's all good. The only thing, I guess, is that you're paying extra for the Switch online. Um, that's the, like, the biggest kind of pain point is, uh, yeah, like, it, this game is clearly built around playing against people online. It's probably got a bit of, like, you know, enjoyment playing locally with a friend. Um, and maybe I'll get to that later on, but, uh, for the earliest times, it's like, no, you should be playing online. Um, and especially because, like, the bowling is, um, you know, it's a 16-player ordeal. Um, I might as well get into that. The bowling is rather interesting, um, how it basically works is that 16 players go into a lobby, and you get three frames, and the top eight, uh, or any more if it's a tie, which it often is at the beginning, um, the top eight have to, uh, well, get to continue on, and the other eight drop out, um, which is, uh, it, do it means basically it's a battle royale mode, it's like half the people just stop after three frames it's kind of annoying it is kind of annoying because if you don't get strikes or splits you will drop off I, I find that in most of my matches um the highest score that you can get 
in your first three balls is 50. And that's because... Um, or is it 50? Or is it, I think it is actually 60, because you get three strikes. Um, and, then, and the rest haven't yet counted. Um, but the... Um, uh, the... Uh, like, yeah, if you're not getting a strike or a split, or you get a late split, and it's like you haven't, like, you get a split on your third frame, you haven't gotten any bonus points to count towards that th third split. So, even though you might be set up pretty okay, it's the fact that your score at that point is 39, or something like that, or is less than 39, and it's just like, yeah, no, you're out. Um, so it's a bit disappointing in that one. Um, the other kind of weird thing is... 10% of the matches I play, the field has special arrangements on it. It's got barriers, it's got moving little platforms on it, it's got holes, it's got slopes. It's like, they're pretty interesting. And you don't get to play them that often. You don't get to pick what kind of field you're on. It's just kind of, it just happens. I don't trust going into that room right now, so I'm going to check out this room. Do I know the passcode? I don't have the passcode. Okay, well, in that case... Let's do it. Let's let's go in for it. So they take six pistol bullets. How many shotgun bullets do they take? I don't know if I could get the head right away. At least they're not like crazy run after you types, but... They take one shotgun. No, they fall over after one shotgun. He's clearly not dead. Oh no, he's dead. Okay. <laughs> Straight facts. Uh, to the General Manager of Sanitation Division from Special Committee on Disasters, Raccoon Special Research Department, or the sp sp This memorandum is strictly confidential and must be destroyed as soon as it, uh, as soon as it's understood. They didn't do that. Regarding the T-Virus outbreak which occurred recently, this committee conducted a field survey. According to the survey results, Estimates on the amount of damage caused by the accident are considerably greater than reported earlier. First, although it is very difficult to obtain accurate data in terms of actual numbers, it is thought that more than half of the researchers died after exposure to the T-Virus. The body count will most likely increase since nearly all of the survivors show symptoms peculiar to the T-Virus. Second, our security system is still in operation. However, our special security guard squad has been nearly destroyed. Because of that, research information consists by our company to be top secret has been made available to outsiders. Countermeasures should be taken as soon as possible. Finally, many of the subjects from the experiment have escaped and are out of control. We believe that some researchers were killed by these subjects and their bodies were mutilated. By curious coincidence, these events are proof of the success of our research. Ah, there it is. However, there is also a very high risk that this news may be leaked to the press if we don't act immediately. They killed. They leaked it to an entire city? Or to a whole lab of people and it's not gonna like leak out. The condition is very serious. Our operation to cover up the situation is difficult to attain. However, we hope the problem will be solved quickly. We are especially concerned that the state police and stars are intervening too quickly. We need to act on the situation as well. Okay. Straight facts. Cool. Uh hi. Did I just double kill? Nope. I ran through. Too gutsy. My complete bad right there. I'm worried they might get back up, but... Okay, the good news is the shotgun does really work. The bad news... There's only three more bullets, so I'm gonna really hope I get a bit more of that. Uh, is there more in that box? Cardboard and posters. Nothing useful. Everyone likes Excite 1998. Yeah. Excite! Most of them are fiction books. Oh, yes. It's a passcode output machine. If I had a MODISC, I could get the code. Oh. Yeah, I haven't I haven't grabbed what, the MODISC yet. Okay, so I gotta get the MODISC. And then come back. For that. Okay, at least those guys are not too spooky. I don't really have to run past all of them, but they do, they do respond and run a bit quickly. So that's a bit of a doozy. There is the guy up here who's also hogging two, um, two herbs, and I'm curious whether the trade-off will be worth it. Um, eventually- oh, jeez. The trade-off is worth it right away. Jeez, he's just 
he's just there. We got the modesk, and now I gotta walk back down. Back down. Sorry, man. Sorry, sorry. I'm going. See ya. Uh, but yeah, no, the bowling is is interesting. It controls harder than than Wii Sports. Greetings, Blob. How you doing? Uh, I'm chatting about Nintendo Switch Sports, which is the title I've been playing this past week. Um, but uh, yeah, the um, the I guess the next game to talk about is the football. It's soccer or uh, it's that kind of stuff. It's a four-on-four -four mode, or you could be playing it one-on-one -on -one if you're kind of weird. But it works really well as a four-on-four -four mode. Uh, I played too much Rocket League to a. Uh, um, I'd say it's fairly good, but it's kind of annoying that you've got to pay for Switch Online. If you don't pay for Switch Online, you get hard locked out of the entire game, basically. You you get to play against bots, but the bots are not fun. The bots are not, like, they play alright, it's just... There's something nice about playing against real people. Real people play interestingly. I don't know what I'm looking at here. Oh. I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this, and have not withheld your son, your only son. Genesis 22.16. I'm pretty sure Supper's Ready is at least a minute longer than that. Listen, that's a, that's a me reference. I'm, I'm like the only person in existence who apparently likes Genesis. Someone in the comments is like, oh, I like Genesis too. Good on, I, good on us. Let's stick together. And then I like tell my mom, and she's just like, I love Genesis. She seems to have an invisible touch. And I'm like, that's, no, 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 no. There's like two Genesis. Oh, I've got a. Never had contact. Never, never had contact with that. I mean, Genesis is an old band. It's like, um, I think 1969 was their first album, pretty much the, the era that I'm thinking of kind of ends at like 1980. I count Duke, I don't know, I count Duke in, as part of that. Um, and then like, yeah, most of, the, most of their like popular phase was the 80s. I believe at least. Um, there is no box. I've got to, I've just got to, uh, this guy's in the way, this guy's in the way. Oh really? And he's not dead. No, he is dead. But now I'm out of shotgun, so that's unfortunate. Um, do I just yeet the shotgun because I'm out of ammo? That is kind of annoying that like I've got to go back into this room in particular to get the box. Okay, so I burnt. Have I burnt the ammo disc? I have. Yes. Uh. So okay. I haven't saved all stream as well, so this is going to be good fun. Um, there's like one enemy who's far away from the route I'm taking, but it's still just like, you know, it's ominous. It's super ominous. Um, yeah. Uh, so football on the Switch Sports, it's fine. You do get like bad teammates, but the nice thing is that the games are super short. It's like it you you get two goals, uh, so if it's two nil or really if you're leading by two, then the ball is replaced by a golden ball in the next round, and if the team scores again, they just instantly win. If the other team scores, well now it's a tie again. It's like it's an interesting take on it. Clearly it's a catch up mechanic, but it's not too bad. I, I don't mind it. Um, and the matches are short. It's three minutes, and it does take a while for the ball to get around. Oh, you've got the passcode. Oh, did I just have to open the door? See, now I'm concerned. What is behind the door? There's, there's another, like, corridor. Let's, let's brace ourselves with the topology. There's another corridor, and then a room. Don't know what's in that room. Uh, and for reference, B2 is literally that. But I've got a... I, I guess I've already got the door open. I don't, yeah, no, it's locked. Why? It's three lights up the top. It definitely looks like I've just got to find more of those panels. So I've just got I've just got to find uh, more of the the disc reader machines. Apparently, one is too much. So let's go back upstairs. Let's check out the the room to the side. 
Um, yeah. So, well, now I've killed these people, so... Let's open the door, get on the floor. An intercom. It does not seem to be operative. Yeah, okay. Hi, what does this say? Unfamiliar physics symbols are written here. Ugh. Meters per second. Oh, this looks interesting. There's a panel. Will you open it? Yeah. There's a switch. Will you push it? Wow. There were books here the whole time. Hidden by a column that was clearly holding the roof. <laughs> uh... You take the lab key. Well, the uh, key's probably interesting. Oh, is this another password machine? No, it's just a projector. Will I unplug it? Nope. Security system. Okay, basement level one. Helicopter port is exit from government officials only on helicopter port. This restriction may not apply in case of an accident. Passage of the helicopter. No one allowed to enter the unless they are attended by a research consultant or security director. Well, this will be shot on sight. Hell there. The elevator stops during emergencies. Okay, so this is one. Keith Arving, the room manager, is designated to have jurisdiction over room usage. Prison. Okay, there is a prison downstairs. Cool. Usage of the prison. Consultant researchers E. Smith, S. Ross, and A. Wesker. A. Wesker? Must be present if virus is used. No one is allowed to enter unless he prevents, uh, presents all passcode documents. Passcode documents must be created on the specialized output machine by the chief researcher of each block. Only headquarter supervised man's in the power room. Yep, okay. No one is allowed to use the passcode output machine, but the chief researcher's top secret level four. Cool, okay. So I need all three codes. I've got one. And I've got the CD that's probably got the next one. It's a whole CD and it just had a little code on it. I guess it, yeah, it is the 90s. It's 1998, you know. USB was not really, like, well taken. So it was all mini discs, floppy drives, um, that kind of jazz. Okay, I don't know how easy it is to sneak into the, the one room down here. Because there's going to be a guy, like, here. Okay, four bullets. It's actually not too bad. There's a guy here. And that one's still locked. Cool. That is where my key goes. Cool. This key is useless now. Yeah. <laughs> sure. I really hope that there is a save room somewhere down here. Because it's like... It's... Oh, really? Just please have a save right here, because there is no save inside this whole area yet. Nope. Th there is a red. There is a red if I want to get rid of poison. Are those shotgun shells? It's not brain table. Yeah, I'll take the shells. I could do with a few more of those. Uh, yes, checked. Yep, they are indeed shotgun shells. I can guarantee that. Um, yeah, no, football's fine. Um, badminton? I might as well talk about badminton. Badminton is decent. It's, uh... It's... It's kind of like uh, tennis, but, like, all about not making a mistake. Like, you can swing... Uh, ooh, this is an interesting puzzle. There you go. So I assume this box right here you can push. Um, and then you can get this one just anywhere, really. And then you can get the stairs. It creaks. Is there also a button there? Do you see that? That kind of looked like there was a button. I don't know if that's pushing the button, but we'll see. Yeah, like, is that a vent? Is that, like, something I should cover up, or, like... I mean, I can I can do it, I guess. Hold on, I'm just gonna push this one up. 
<laughs> I, I, I have zero evidence that the game would pull a gas trap room on me. It did do a crushing ceiling room. It did already, like, go for that one. But, like, I'm like, I see a thing on the floor and I go, hmm, I'm gonna cover it up. Like, I just look at that and I go, yeah, no, I'll cover that up. Well, that just seems natural to me. I don't know. I'm superstitious, I'll tell ya. What am I- what am I looking at in here? What am I actually looking at? I'm- I'm interacting. I'm not able to interact with anything. Unless I'm not... ...in the right, like, location? Or do I have to use the computer? No, the computer is a no-go. I turn my head, by the way, to, like, try and gauge that one. Um, okay. Let's, uh, let's do a U-turn, because, uh, yeah. Maybe the button was a guide. Maybe it was, like, you're supposed to put the, the stairs here or else, nah. Oh, would you look at that? Someone moved all the, the boxes. Yeah, you see what I mean? It's like there's two, like, circles there, and then there's the square. So maybe it's just, you know, get that out of the way. Get that down a bit. And then, you can't really see it, but I assume it, this needs to be up like one. So it's in line with the button. You've got to be kidding me. You've got to be kidding me. Did I call that? Did I actually call that? So poison gas is that like... No, okay. I was like, poison gas is not poisoning gas. It's just... Bad gas. It's like me after Taco Tuesday. Okay, me after Taco Tuesday would like to get this right this time. I guess I'm on caution, so let's use one of these. Um, man, you know? Oh wait, the red isn't... Sorry, the red isn't, um... Poison healing, it's a... Okay, so one, let's let's push that one up one. The red isn't poison healing, it's uh, super healing, so I should actually pick up that red. Especially now that I've got the free inventory space. And then I can use it to mix with some other ones, so... Oh, I can't believe... I can't believe there was a gas trap. Right under my nose. Uh... I wasn't close enough to the wall. Yeah, yeah. It's... I mean, it's probably not too bad, but you can't tell. You, you can't tell, like, looking at it from this. You gotta, like... Like, if the stairs, like, are really tall. But you can't... You can't tell how tall, how tall the stairs are from, from that angle. I do like me a good uh, box pushing, but yeah. Da -da -da. Listen, I just played Tomb Raider as well. I, I feel like, I feel like my audience is just like done with box pushing. I gotta think, like, I actually don't have a, a next game like on the ready in my head. So I gotta figure it out, but like, it's gotta have more box pushing. That's the, that's the uh, common element with every game I play. Ah, oh, it's not, I haven't pushed it far enough. Oh my goodness. Did I just like, scooch out from there? Okay. I haven't, I haven't completely buggered it up, but I am struggling so much with box pushing. Oh, I should play Legacy of Cain. There you go, so let's push this a little more forward so I can push that box just that tiny bit more. Okay. <laughs> I got the, I got the, ugh. So now that's up against the wall, or rather the computer. So if I push that, that's, uh, I'm worried that if I push the stairs up, it's going to trigger the button now. So how about let's push the stairs back. Okay, okay, 
right, I gotta have a better strat than, than that. How about... Let's push one box out. Okay, we'll push the next one down. We'll push this forward a little bit, so I can push this one up. And then this goes all the way to the wall. That's fine. Okay. That one's fine. Push it up one. Push it up two, actually. Let's just get it, like, really out of the way, just so I don't even consider accidentally stepping on it. Oh my gosh. I <laughs> uh, good old box pushing. How's my health? Yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. I can take a stab. Okay. Now I can scooch in here. No, I can't. So I push it one more. Okay. Now I lean down and we push this a bit there you go um you know badman's actually pretty okay i don't mind it um it's definitely uh real like sweep heavy it's like it's like uh it's very easy to get the the power hits by timing your your swings right and then uh at that point it's like yeah your your opponent like has to play completely reactionary until you mess up which is kind of tiring, but sure, okay. Okay, here we go, here we go. There you go, first try, right there. There's an air shaft, will you enter it? Oh, well, I, I want to get the red herb first, but... I don't have a thing to really mix the red herb with, but... That's a, that's a technicality. Where does this go? That's what I want to know off the top of my head. Hopefully this goes in that other room that's locked on the inside. I have a hunch it is. This will be a spooky moment. Who called it? It was me. It was me. I knew it. I knew it. I'm just too good. <laughs> uh, let's see. We take the magnum rounds? Sure. Okay. I'm definitely going to have a good, good inventory of magnum rounds. Okay, that's a door that I'd leave in. These are body bags. That's always good fun. Ah, I can use the passcode output. If I had an MO disk, I could get the code. Well, good thing I am holding one of them. But this is my only other one, so I hope the other code is down here. Passcode 2. I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies. I'm... I'm, I'm not too sure whether, like... Like, I don't know my Bible. I know Genesis is, like, uh, right at the beginning. This place seems to be a morgue. Uh, I guess it does. Um, but I, I don't know what exactly, like, your enemies are, like, by, by verse 22. <coughs> well, this is gonna put me off, um, in a spot. Maybe I should back up and, like, hit the save, because, like, the only thing I gotta do... Uh, if I want to get past... Did that guy come back? That guy... I don't know if I got that guy. But I'm pretty sure I got the other guy. Um, yeah, I, I should comfy save. I've done way too much. I've shot way too many people. Let's grab one of these as well. You take the green herb? Yeah. I don't know what's with the slides. I'll be fine. <laughs> no need to save. Seems to be some kind of research report. Wait, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Before I leave, uh, well, one. Let's, I guess, let's mix these. So let's combine. Yeah, mix the herbs. There you go. Mixed herbs. Um. I've got slides and there's a projector in this room. Why don't I use the slides on the projector? There's like, there's not too many things you interact with in this game. It's, it's fairly clear, like, what I have to use. There we go. I'm standing right in front of the projector, but sure. Umbrella Ink, Bioweapon Materials. Uh, Cerberus, it's got one head. You can't call it Cerberus. 
Neptune. It's it's a shock. Hunter. Oh, that's his name. Tyrant. That one's new. I don't remember the claw arm. Bioweapon Research Institute. R&D staff. Cool, okay. And I can use it again and get the get the MO again. Cool. Yep, this is a cool presentation. My Google Slides are totally... I'm pretty sure you don't need a projector in order to look at the slides. You could just shine them up to, like, a light and have a decent idea. The whole point of the projector is to project. It's to show a whole room full of people. It's like an x-ray. It's like you can, you can look at an x-ray without needing to put it up against a projector. You ever have, like, those teachers, um, and, like, a... Like, I, I'm on, like, the cusp of, like, being, like, a boomer and being, like, a Gen Z kind of person. Um, so, like, I had teachers move from the light-based projectors to the, um, I guess just, like, digital. Like, just, it's a projector that's hooked up to the VGA output of a computer nearby. Um, I didn't, I, I had one singular teacher with one of those very, very fancy, like, color projectors that was just a camera. Um, those ones are really fancy. I've, I've only seen one. Uh, the, the computer hooked up to the projector is just a more common thing I've seen. Um, but, uh, it's like, the old style projector, it's like, I always thought it was so cool. They'd get those, like, translucent A4 pa pages and they'd print, um... Is this open? Does this go anywhere? No. What would that even be connected to? That's just some random part of the garden, but I've got to... you got to walk so far. Alright, real talk. What's the odds that, like, I'm going to go comfy save, and I'm going to make my way back, and literally the next place I need to go into has the... like, a save. I'm holding on to a lot of save ribbons, I'll tell you that. Um, I'm trying to figure out my head and how to navigate this place backwards. Uh, I just need to run to the other side of this room. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I got all two of them. Or both of them. No need for comfy save? Well, you gotta do a comfy save when you got snakes. I will tell you. And the snakes out there. What I'm hoping is that, like, when there is another boss, because uh, there's a guy with the arm, it's like, when there is another boss, I hope that I'm, like, not far away. There's three. Oh, there's three. Oh. Okay, uh... I mean, it seems like I probably need all three for the code. And I've burnt two of them, so I've got the other code, but... Um... Where would the third one be? The first one I got was, um... I'm gonna open up the map. Uh, it was... In the bottom left, there was another Indiana Jones rock. And past that, there was a room, and I think that had the MO disc. And then, uh, I got the one that was, uh, can I not, can I not, uh, laboratory B2, there we go. Um, it was the one right next to the room here. This had a disc as well. There's another one somewhere. Is it, if it's somewhere down here, I've just yet to see it. But, if it's like, anywhere else, it's like, oh no. So yeah, is it like somewhere that I have to wander back to, or is it like... Oh, please don't be in the mansion as well. Yes? I feel like there's a delay. <laughs> I asked like three questions and I got a yes on it. Um, you, you don't have to be like, you can, you can tell me where it is. In the, in the mansion. In the mansion. It's not that locked room, is it? Is the the one in the bottom right there? How do you unlock it? Either that or it's the um the tiger statue. But I don't know like where the other thing for the tiger statue is. Take the elevator from the basement kitchen. Uh the elevator from the basement kitchen to the library. 
Oh, wait. Oh, wait, sorry, as in the library, as in... The... As in there's a big room full of books. And then there's like one bit where it's like you press a switch, and, or like you push a, a thing to the, um, onto a switch. And then it reveals a bookshelf and that goes down. Wait, so I did get that one. I did actually get that one. So that meant, uh... Wait, so that actually means that in, in that case there's one on the bottom left here I didn't get? Like, just here? Because, like, I thought I got one here. I can I can investigate this one, because it's right next to here. I'm very... I, I, I was thinking, like, oh, I got I got it here, but... I'm thinking, yeah, no, I got it. I got the library one, because I remember pushing a thing and revealing a bookcase going down. I remember picking up something out of there. Well, let's, uh, let's double check over here. I would prefer it to be this one. I would actually prefer it to be this one. Um, so this one I would go right, uh, go this way, and there's the Indiana Jones room. And I remember looking in this room, I cannot for the life of me remember what I picked up in this room. But it plays the music. It's at the end of this hallway, so not it, not behind the boulder, oh. Oh, well, it's, it's back there. Oh, am I about to Indiana Jones myself again? Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Well, that's good to know. It's a map. Oh, I, I just, I needed the map the whole time, you know? And that, oh, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Okay. Wow. I thought I picked up the key here, or the demo disc here. I didn't, and then I did. I did. <laughs> I'm a genius. I'm a genius, what can I tell you? Alright, well the good news is I don't have to go back to the mansion. <laughs> See, the comfy save was worth it. The comfy save was worth it. I should have been doing comfy saves this whole time. Um, yeah. How about, let's, let's, uh, merge the magnum bullets as well, while I'm at it. Uh... If you know, how do you, what do you equip the magnum bullets on? Because I have no idea what I equip any of my, like, extra bullets on. I'm sitting on probably a good trove of, like, stronger things, the cult python. Okay, I don't have that. So I have a bunch of bullets for a gun I don't have. Uh, have I unlocked this? Nope. Okay. Um, the only other weapon I've got is the rocket launcher. Um, I assume, are the flame rounds for any other weapon? Or the acid rounds? Are they for the pistol? Or are they also for the cult python? <laughs> Not worth it going back for it, still. Grenade gun. Oh, there's a grenade gun? Like, here's my box, basically. I've got flame rounds here. There's a lighter that I have used, the lighter. Uh, the bazooka, acid rounds, combat knife, serum, uh, magnum rounds. So I'll take the magnum rounds. And then cranks, explosive rounds, flame rounds, acid rounds, which I can merge, and a bunch of bottles I took. I didn't get the grenade gun, no. I have a bazooka, and that is the most important thing in the world for me. We're going blind, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you that. This is, this is a, a chaotic playthrough because I will always do the worst things possible, apparently. Um, but it's more, the, the magic of a blind playthrough is not to do things the best, it's to figure out that you can do things, like you can get by, by kind of skirting things like that. I thought, um, like, uh, I'm gonna pat myself on the back here. Maybe it's called the bazooka. Uh, like it fires rockets. So this guy is right here. He hasn't heard me. He hasn't heard me. 
Oh, he walks around. He turns around. He turns around. Uh, you can only load the ass rounds. Oh, you gotta wait for it to empty. Yeah. Uh, but they go in the, the, the rocket launcher. Or slash bazooka. Man, that's not gonna be fun to get past that guy, is it? He's sitting on an elevator. There's an elevator and then it looks like a maze of things. Uh, let's just, let's blow his face away. Let's get him. Old school. Old style. Hi, right, come out. Come out. Um, you... That's the camera. That's that's not where I am. Hi. 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 How you doing? Thank you. <laughs> okay, there's another one, but we got a door here. If there's a save here, I'm just gonna be like, nice. Nice. Heck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> just save right here. Oh, I did the comfy save and I didn't even need to at all. Sure. Okay, will you take the flame rounds? I will flame myself. Okay, so I don't need magnum bullets in any way. Got it. Blob, you're a genius. I can't, I, I can't, I can't deal with your genius. Uh, the font is red and that makes me think that I can't combine them. Nope, I can. They're red because they're on fire. Do I have another batch of flame rounds? This will be just making my life easier when I go back to pick them up. Yeah, I do. Yeah. <laughs> You're a psychic blub. Completely psychic. Uh, da -da -da. So magnum rounds, pointless. Uh, I know I've got like acid rounds in here, but I think the fire would be good. Yeah, we'll keep the fire on the ready. Keep that on the ready. Um, other than that though, I don't have anything too big. Nothing seems to be poisoning me right now. This could be a call for it, because you know, there's the blue herb right there. But, we're not there just yet. Alright, the big 25. 25 whole saves. But I finally saved in the laboratory, so that's fine. Okay, uh... Let's see, let's check out the room on the right. Or the, the elevator. We call them lifts here in, in Australia, mate. Um... Oh, this guy's gone. No, he's not. He's right there. <laughs> he is still there. XDR? Isn't that like an audio format? There's a switch where you pull it. There's no reaction, there's no power. Well, that's disappointing. Alright, so we're looking for another thing to use the code on. Oh! Oh! Boy. Oh, that's just a spider. That's... That's not a spider! Power panels. Some areas do not have power. We have to activate the black tower areas. Oh boy. Oh boy! That was a dead end. Cool. Cool. Nice. This is going. This is going decently. This is going decently. I'm not. I'm not too angry right now. I'm fine. They, they only tap me. That's cool. Hi. They do. They do tap you though. And they are, they're not the slowest things in the world. Oh, gave me a good hug right then. I'm in the door. Doesn't count. I'm in the door. <laughs> this is a massive engine. Everyone, every horror game needs just some massive engine of some kind. A power connection switch. The elevator power is off. Oh yeah, just turn on elevator power, you know? It has been <laughs> Thanks for the explanation. It has been turned on because the connection is there. The connection has turned it on. Hi there, computer. It's a triggering system activator. It's quite big. It, 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 it's a computer. It, it is a comp computational device. Is this a thing I can interact with? There's like a floor panel here. No. Is the only thing over here just to turn on the... Turn on the lift. 
Is that on the elevator? I guess they're probably clearing out like the lines there. Just look like they're just gaps. So, okay. Yeah, I, I don't see anything else to use. I'm just double checking because I don't really want to like walk back through that room with like dudes. It's weird that that's got like a line of dialogue there. That is a big monitor for 1998 though. Or 1996 version of 1998. This was the future. It's actually, um, I found an amazing article, uh, from... Ooh, 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 the quick dodge. I, yeah, I'm not even gonna check that corner. Um, I found an amazing article from, uh, Tom's Hardware, uh, about NVIDIA announcing the TI, uh, branded cards, uh, from, uh, 2001, um, where they announced the, uh, GeForce 3... TI-500 as a better version of the GeForce 3. Uh, the GeForce 3 TI-200 as a worse version of the GeForce 3. And a GeForce 2 TI as an odd... I don't know why someone asked for a rehash of the GeForce 2. Someone did, it wasn't me. Um, but it's like, it's amazing because uh, they did two benchmarks, uh, or a couple of benchmarks, but in particular what screamed out to me was uh, there was... Um, uh, Quake 3 and 3D Mark, at least 3D Mark at the time. Um, and it was good fun because it's just like, oh, Quake 3, what kinds of FPS were they getting back then? Like, these are like super old GPUs. And it's like they're running the game at, uh, the, they had a 1024 by 768 benchmark and then a 1600 by 1200 benchmark. And it's like the 1600 one on the, the GeForce 3, just the regular one, it was like 85 frames. It was like, dang, that's not too shabby. But then, they turned on anti-aliasing, and it dipped so hard, because anti-aliasing back then was really gnarly. It was super intensive, because um, the algorithm wasn't really particularly great. It was like, um, do I just save? Do I just pop a save? I've got seven ink ribbons. I feel like I can be a little bit more uh, generous on this one. Like, I got through that room fairly fine. I've got both saves if I really need to go back. I, I'm kind of suspecting that the game doesn't have too much longer to go on. Like, the, the big plan is hopefully I'm done on the stream. Um, not as in, like, I, I don't want the game to continue, but it's like, it's, it's Halloween. It's like, <laughs> please don't continue the spooky game too much longer after Halloween. Um, but, uh, yeah, no. Um, Anti-aliasing completely tanked the performance on it. Um, Jill. Hi. I'm talking about anti-aliasing. Don't interrupt me. Jill, you're here too. Yeah. Yes, you're here too. Nice. Look, uh, I lost my way. Let's get going. Okay. I'm really curious what's going to be up here. I'm a little worried, actually. Wesker? Wesker! You did a fine job, Barry. Just as I thought. <gasps> I think you should stay away from Barry, Jill. I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. Well, you don't have to worry about anything, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Why do you have to destroy stars? That's Umbrella's intention. This laboratory has been engaging in dangerous experiments, and recently an accident has occurred. Anyway, this disaster cannot be made public. <sighs> That's why having stars nosing about is so inconvenient. So you're a slave of Umbrella now, along with these virus monsters. I think you misunderstand me, Jill. To me, the monsters you mentioned mean nothing. I'm going to burn all of them together with this entire laboratory. I must complete my mission as ordered by Umbrella. 
Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. What? What is the point Barry. of? Why do, you, why do you put a gun to her head and then just leave? Barry's such a fool. He'll be under the control of Umbrella forever. How come both Umbrella and you can intimidate him by taking his family as hostages? Umbrella? Well, I intimidated him, but it had nothing to do with Umbrella. I just used him for my personal purposes. Though both you and Barry seem to think I was following orders from Umbrella. So you're planning something else? If you succeeded in developing the world's most powerful biological weapon, what would you do? What if you were in charge? You must stop this now. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. You... okay? Oh! Oh! Barry! <laughs> Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. So it's all been masterminded by him. But it's good that you know that now. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. Jill! Yes, what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? Well, he was talking about the world's most powerful... This is... I'm reminded weapon. of the zoo race. A tyrant or something, <laughs> I think. We've already got the Bible quotes. Tyrant now? Barry, you're so optimistic. Do you think Noah for stars raced with the animals? Dangerous creature run loose. Maybe you're right. Let's go and then. And who would announce such a race? God himself? Huh. <laughs> Richard, you're a giraffe. <laughs> Glug glug. Oh, look at him. He's got the big claw arm, so you know he's super evil. Oh. Ooh, guy outside's racing. I was gonna say the heart's racing, but nah. Looks pretty ominous. Can a creature like this really be the ultimate biological weapon? Really? Wesker is a crazy man. He's a crazy man. Tyrant is not completely developed. But we can't let it live. That must be the computer for monitoring this creature. I'm not one to know how to destroy animals in biological, like, cells, but I'm pretty certain there's probably a lot of things you could do to goof it up for them. Draining the water is probably not quite it. I would have, like, raised the temperature way too high. You didn't even- oh, I was like- ah, oh, look what you did, man. Oh, hi there. Hi. Damn you. It's pretty tall. You are you are not aiming and you Yep, okay, cool. It can't control what it does. It just needs love. Okay, it it needs uh jeez, bro. Yep. Okay, uh, am I about to die? Maybe. I feel like this is, uh, totally when you use the bazooka, because right now I am... Oh boy, it's- you- you- oh. This is- this is... This is why, like, not why. Uh... Well, I don't- I don't have a particularly, um... 
the best loadout. I might be super screwed. We'll see. Wait for Barry changes his part. Barry is very impatient. And so am I, apparently. Oh, oh, I'm very dead. Okay. Keep your distance. Okay, well, I've copped it, but at least I saved right before, but I also have no idea. You missing an art? No, she's fine. Yeah, I, I wasn't keeping my distance very well. I kind of, uh, like, learned a bit of timing on that one, but it's like, yeah, you've just got to learn how how far away from things you got to be. Because um, you've got to spend all that time turning around, then aiming, then shooting. It takes a while, but at least, like, you know, it's a square car it's a square room it's not really not really much to you know negotiate around there um i guess one question is should i have found where to put the the third mo disc by now or is that like is that fine is that expected because I'm, I'm sitting on the disc there as a yeah okay yeah i'm sitting on the disc there's the whole way over to the the top left there I don't know which room I used the disc in. I've used the disc in uh, the very top left room that I have been in, and the interior room there, but I don't know where the other one is unless it's in the room with the, the huggers. They're not the same huggers as the ones before, but just everything that comes in for a hug is the hugger for me. Um, yeah, which room would it be in? The huggers. Yeah, exactly. You know, they're all full of love. They just you just need to show them a bit of love. You know. Uh I guess just to be real scrupulous, I'm gonna like look around here. I'm just gonna take the take the hits and die eventually. That is a great sound. Uh but I just wanna like double check the um if there's not like any corners. Or something where it's like the thing is sitting. I don't think there's really anything in this like half of the room. Cause that just that's just a dead end. But I think there's like a, either there's a dead end or it's like there's a part where I can like turn around in here. Like just here, it's like there you go, there you go. I was thinking it's like yeah, it's, I didn't I didn't see if there was something over here. So okay, so I use that. And now I've got Passcode 3, which gives me the next Genesis quote. And through your offspring, all nations on earth will be blessed because you have obeyed me. Ah, oh, wonderful. Okay, so now I turn around. Hi there. Whoa. 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 Ooh. Ooh. Too good. Because I'm thinking, yeah, if that corner's got, like, something actually, like, super duper useful as well. Obeyed me by killing your enemies and taking their cities. Uh, listen, like, murder is bad, but they're not technically your neighbors. They just said don't kill your neighbors. I always love Out of Context Bible. It's, uh, like, <laughs> like I don't want to get into... Oh, dang it. He's giving me a kiss. Dang it. That's okay. Oh. I can grab some more herbs on the top floor, because I know that there's another... Few, actually. There are a few up there. How about, yeah, let's let's grab one. I know there's one just here, and then I think I've got like two just literally above the lift. So I might just double back and get those. How about I, I will... Yeah, I'll actually get those. I'll get those on the way back, because I... Uh, if I die, then I don't want to, you know, waste the time going up there. Uh, so let's leave my inventory fairly intact for now. Just for the moment. Uh, but, yeah. So it was Wesker the whole time. Who would have guessed? Dang it, Wesker. I feel, I feel like everyone knows that Wesker is a bad guy. I was expecting some kind of transformation, but no, it's just like... He's literally, he just wants to control the... 
the um beep beep he, he just wants to control the the zombies or like release an ultimate life form for some reason to control it does he really have a plan beyond that this is a hallway this is a hallway this is definitely a hallway everything's filmed here how do you keep the secret you're filming it Jill is that you Jill Oh, Chris, you're alive! Oh, uh, they've... he was just here. Of course. Damn it, we're in quite a predicament, Jill. I know, Chris. Anyway, I have to open this room. Uh, it doesn't work. Well, Chris, I'll be sure to come back and help you soon. Will you wait here? Thanks. I'll be waiting here for you. Really? Really? I come all the way here, and it's just to tease me that Chris is just chilling out. You wait in jail. <laughs> well, I mean, he's not going anywhere, I guess. So, I'm gonna assume... I'm gonna assume that this whole place comes crumbling down, because they wouldn't tell me that the lift is unavailable if the whole place was crumbling down. And so, I've got to save the animals. I've got to go in, I've got to get Chris at some point. But dang, I was expecting just a room with, like, ammo and stuff. Instead, it's just Chris. He might be useful. He's not useful right now. <laughs> he's, in a, he's in jail. What can I do? Or, unless there's a key, but, uh... I don't know, if I'm taking the translation literally, I'm just gonna say, like, uh, I mean, I'll come back later. And the, and the room is locked. It doesn't have a keypad, it's just locked. And if it's locked, the rule of the game is... That, you know, that room is locked. It's not going anywhere. There's a ladder, will you climb it? Yeah. I will, but may I? Also, I guess it's still this room. So I assume... I'm assuming a lot. Do I just- do I just assume or do I just go for it? I'll just go for it. I'm feeling confident though. I'm feeling pretty confident. Cause I was- I was expecting like some super duper enemies to really like come up. And like, the weird like zombies in the labs here, like they're not that scary. They feel a little weaker than the regular zombies. They just fall over and don't get- don't even get back up. Um, so yeah. I don't think I really need any more blue herbs, like, yeah, they cure poison, but like, how often do you get poison? Maybe I will get poison in the next boss, but it's like... I've- I'm already sitting on, like, two blue herbs. I can- I can grab one more as well, I can- I can really stock up on them. But, uh, yeah. I don't think I need too many herbs. Um, so, okay, so to take out that guy, the guy with the big long arm, I've just got to stand my ground and hit him from a distance. That seems to be the strat, pretty much. How many hits is he going to take? I don't know. A lot of the enemies in this game don't, like even the bosses, and I was- I was actually impressed. It's like, they don't actually take that many hits. But... They... Definitely stick it to you really quickly. So you've... Got to take them out decently quick. Um... But I guess most of the- most of the other bosses, I mean, you had the snake twice, the spider, and the big plant. And all four of them, I was like, eh, I mean, you can kinda... Just... Take it? Heal once? This guy... There's no healing once. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, like, I'm sitting on so many blue herbs, um, and I've got a, uh, a, um, a fade. Maybe I'll just pop the... The bazooka in here? I got six ammo. Six ammo gonna be enough? I think it'll be enough for that guy. Unless they want me to fight two bosses. How about I'll save before I'm again? I know I'm burning through my saves, but, like, I've still got six ribbons. I'm feeling confident. I don't think there's going to be too much more, like, 
and six ribbons. And on top of that, like, um, oh, I guess unless the area continues beyond there, that's kind of like every room, isn't it? There's no, like, mystery rooms. Is this guy respawn? Is, is this guy, like, right here? Yeah. He never leaves. All right. All right. See ya. Ah, oh, dang it. Dang it. I think he takes three grenades. If there's one thing I do hate, it's how willy-nilly you will take damage and how kind of annoying it is that, like, I, I, I wish I had more herbs, like, on the ready. I, I, I do wish it was like, oh, I'm sitting on five herbs and it's just my inventory capacity that limits me when I get to a boss fight. But it's like, no, I, I have two and now one more green herb in my in my like box it's like i'm really cutting it fine it's like if i take any damage anywhere that green herb just goes away the red herbs i don't know man they're, they're like they're just gone they are nowhere i don't know where the red herbs even like would be chilling I want to say I've used them effectively, but I don't know. Um, but I never feel like you're forced into taking damage. I think if you want, you can play smart. You have more than enough ammo to kill the enemies. Yeah, yeah, the amount of ammo you have isn't, like, too dangerously low. Jill. Oh, I gotta listen to him again. Jill. You're here too. I've got to listen to him again. You're here too. Look, nice. I lost my way. I lost my way. Let's get going. Does that mean I gotta listen to Wesker talk all over again? Yeah, it, I, the enemy's respawning. Like, I don't mind them respawning in terms of like, oh, I've cleared a thing and they come back. But it's it is kind of annoying when it's like, here's a corridor and he's kind of in the way. You take him out and then he's just there again. Um, especially because I thought they were gonna respawn at the beginning of the game, but. Then, like, I'd notice they weren't. I was like, oh, I feel much more comfortable taking them out when they don't respawn. Um, oh boy, man, I gotta sit through this again. Wesker, Wesker, it was all you? Job, Barry. Just as I thought. Just as I thought. I think you should stay yeah. away from Barry. Uh, <laughs> I hear that his wife and two daughters will be in danger if he doesn't do everything I tell him to. You are so cruel. How could he? Uh, you don't have to worry about anything, uh, because you'll be free from this world very soon, Jill. Wait, wait, what even is his plan right now, by the way? He's... He wants to show Jill the thing so that it kills her, instead of using one singular bullet at this very second. It, like... So you're a slave of umbrella. I don't know, man. I don't know, Along with but this virus monster. I'll definitely say currently up to I this point. Me, to me, this game yeah. It's cool cloak. Yeah, true. I'm going to burn. He isn't working for Umbrella White test the bi weapons all. Yeah, I don't know. Like he I wants powerful mutants for Barry. some reason. Barry, go up on the ground and wait there. Bounce with the data for the virus, yeah. Barry! He, he could still have his ruse. He doesn't have to turn on all of his team. Like, he could literally be like, I've taken, like, the information for my own personal gains. And literally, like, I don't know. Like, at least they're mates. At least, like, you know. Like, yeah, you're on the team, but it's like, yeah, you know Wesker. Or even better, Wesker could just literally not so announce his plans. He's going to take the data, which he could have done on his own, and they would have all burnt this place anyways. What would you do? What if you were He could even if like they weren't gonna do it, he could just convince them. He could just be like, these things are dangerous. Let's burn it all. You're a brave girl. But if I were you, I wouldn't give up such a big discovery. You guys are idiots. No one understands its real value. So, you're going to steal all the research? <laughs> Better yet, I'm going to show you the tyrant. Wesker, you didn't have much of a plan, I'm sorry. 
You should have asked for an egg. Sorry, Jill. How is your family? Uh, I was listening to what you and Wesker were talking about. I wish I realized it earlier. I thought it must have something to do with Umbrella, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. So I, I do wish I could skip this. Because all the all the other cutscenes happened after, like, you, know you cleared now. stuff. Anyway, let's get out of this house first. And actually, I'm Jill. pretty sure, like... Guess what? Do you have any idea what Wesker was going to show you at the back of this place? <laughs> that line is just so good. Well, he um, was talking about the world's most powerful biological Yeah, weapon. I'm trying to think. I'm pretty sure every boss puts something. you directly in I front think... of a save after. Like, even when you get a bit of cutscene. Tyrant um, now? I think. Mary, you're so optimistic. Like, after the second snake, would look bad for you go in the pit, and the pit has a save in the... In the run loose. And Maybe then, uh... Right. Let's go then. The spider had the save kind of immediately to the left afterwards that I just didn't get right away. Um, the first snake you get poisoned and you get put into a room where you have the save. Yeah. And then the 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 plant, yeah, you kill it and there's no more plants in there. So you can walk to the save easily. Yeah. Yeah, I can at least skip this cutscene. Can a creature like this just really that one? Be Weapon? I always found like this kind of era of PS1 games was great because it was like you've got the room to do full motion video but you don't have enough to do it for the whole thing so you gotta do your in-engine cutscenes and they look kind of interesting at times there's not a lot of good looking PS1 cutscenes it's just like people waving their arms around and looking all over the place and then having very weird elbow like where the shading stops because there's no other way you're going to show that it's an actual like elbow yeah, it's a neat looking model i'll tell you that but it's just like yeah <laughs> i i had this kind of thought where it's like and i i saw this on um on a on a, my soapbox it was like the average like ps2 game feels like, Damn you. decently high quality compared to, like, some some weird mechanics of the, like, the earliest, like, PS1 games. It's not to say PS1 games are bad, but that definitely, like, the average PS2 game picks up on those. Oh, gosh. Just run. Just get out of there. Okay. Alright, let's... Oh, my gosh. I'm fighting this. Okay. Well, how about let's do it from a camera angle where I can see him. Oh, I don't hate PS1 games so much. I love PS1 games. Some of my best friends are PS1 games. <laughs> but, like... Uh... But, uh, I, I definitely think that, like, a lot of PS1 get... Man, I've gone the wrong direction. I've gone the wrong direction, because he's, like... He's, he's out of the camera every single time. Um... Consulist? Oh, true. <laughs> um... It don't do- true, there are some really neat games on the Sega Saturn. Maybe I should just be using the rockets. Let's use the rockets. Uh, equip. And let's use a herb, because I'm struggling. Um, but like, I, I, I think one example I've got is like, Parappa the Rapper. It's like, it's a groundbreaking game. Uh, but it also does control real atrociously. Uh, is that the weapon you're thinking of, by the way? Oh, I got him. Sick. It's like, yeah, and, and like, the world is a much better place because Parappa the Rapper exists. Barry? Barry, you Barry? okay? Hey, he's fine. You're alive! I mean, yeah, you take a few hits from it. I'm it's not... Really embarrassed. I was clumsy. Let's get going. Let's get going. Cool. If you, we just leave? Like, there's nothing else in this room? It's just... I'm gonna, I'm gonna mash X on the walls a bit. I don't trust that this room is empty. He didn't even drop anything, really? 
no one dropped anything in this game, actually. What am I, what am I saying? No one drops anything. Oh, some weird geometry there. Uh, but yeah, like, Parappa the Rapper, it's like... If it wasn't for Parappa the Rapper, rhythm games would not be quite where they are today. Because it's such a groundbreaking first step. But, Parappa the Rapper has so much input lag, and it feels kind of clumsy. There's Um Jamalami, also on the PS1. And it feels much better. Brapper 2 feels even better than that. What happened to Wesker? The triggering system has now been activated. The triggering system. Wesker must have set it off. There's not much time left for us. A bit like Dune, maybe. So I guess I hit a save and then I hope for the best. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think there is a point where, like, the games do peak out, and I think it is around, like, the... the early-ish to the mid-2000s. A lot of games really found their stride, and then never evolved too much from there. Um, so let's go in here, and let's have a, have a good old save. Um... But yeah, like, I do feel like the average PS2 game, like, even, like, the more forgettable ones, and, and yeah, R RTS, like, it, it can still be PC at that time, they nailed it. They figured it out. I have barely any shotgun ammo, so I don't know whether holding on to the shotgun is even worth it anymore. Or whether I should, like, put that in, hold my, um, fate spray, I guess. And then bring out the, uh, the fire rounds. The flame rounds, yeah. Or do I hold the shotgun? I'll hold the shotgun. We'll keep the shotgun on already. Um. Yeah, yeah, like this. um... Uh, I want to say rhymes around that time, yeah. But it's like, yeah, there's just like a remarkable, like, jump in games of that era. And every new game since has kind of been... That, but more. That, but HD. That, but microtransactions. That, but DLC. It's like... It's like, there, there, there is like a... A point... I think there's some things... I would definitely say 3D platformers... Um... Like... They peak more frequently... But... I do think they get more... Um... They get more refined. Like, I think... Um... A game like Mario Odyssey is just like... It's superb how many of the little tiny bits they, they fix. But yeah, no, you're right. There's a lot of platformers in the 2000s that just nail it. Um, not perfect, but definitely, like, fine. And 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 very serviceable. Uh, whereas, like, you know, play, like, a SNES or even, a, like, a NES, like, platformer. And a lot of them are, like, kind of shocking. Um, there's some really good ones out there that are still licensed. Um, I think... Uh, Whoa, jeez, hi there. Hi, see ya. I gotta say hi to Chris. Oh, jeez. Oh, get off me. Uh, oh, he's laughing. How fun. <laughs> I wasn't expecting him to appear. Um, yeah. It's like, there's definitely some really good cases out there, but I think there's also... Um, definitely, like, just... There's uh, so many good games in the mid-2000s. Uh, if I go back to the rhythm game example, I don't think rhythm games have particularly gotten any better than anything in the mid-2000s. It's like, it's the same kind of rhythm game over and over again. We figured out how to do the 60 FPS rhythm game that feels super responsive. Hey! Oh, Jill! Sorry for keeping you waiting. So, everything is done? Well, almost, yes. Now let's go. Okay, we'll just we just pull Chris out. Hopefully Chris helps. Hopefully he's he's gonna help me out. Or he could just walk into a wall. <laughs> That's okay, Chris. I still love you. He's gotta punch some boulders in a new life. You are bolting it. Let's go. That's where I was going to go, Chris. He's... he's gonna brave that enemy. Oh, 
I guess I pull out the next green herb from the next room? Do I go out the next room or do I go out another thing? Because I thought the elevator was going to be like... Walled. Oh, that's where I go into the... Um, whoop, I... <laughs> <laughs> That's where I go into the one loose room there. That's it. I love me a constant alarm though. Keeps you on edge. And speaking of on edge... Oh! Oh! Uh, oh! <laughs> that was too good. That was actually too good. That was actually too good. I was like, oh, how many of them are there gonna be? Hi! Let's go. Let's go. Yeah, okay, cool. So now here's my thing. I guess I've still got the one extra herb. But I don't have anything else other than if I want the explosive rounds. I'm going to stick with the fire rounds just because I've got a lot of them. Although I do have two lots of acid rounds. Maybe I should ditch the shotgun. I've got one one shot in it. I don't think it's going to be worth it. I think taking the acid rounds and then let's merge them with more acid rounds. Then I've got more rounds. Do I have any more acid rounds? I think this will be the best thing. But I've got to nail it because I don't have too much, too much health. Yeah, okay. So let's go back out. Combin. And then let's pull out the green herb again. Alright. So now this is a perfect, like, setup for a final boss, right? There's a ladder, will you climb it? Yeah. This is a perfect setup for a final boss. We got, we got all of our good equipment, pistol, and rockets. Oh, hi. Hurry! Shove a hurry! That's not, that's not this game. Uh, and let's equip this. So. All good. Okay, in we go. So, okay, so the strat is just keep your distance. I don't know what I'm up against, but as long as I can run away from it, I'm doing okay. Drop off the ink ribbon. I don't, I don't have it. Oh, sure, okay. There's no other saves. It's just that, that save back there was the only one. <laughs> At least they're kind enough to let me go back. Take my word for it. All right. I trust you. I trust you. You knew where the, where the discs were, even when I told you bad info, so... Hi. <laughs> Let's go. Oh no, they only programmed this room one way. Oh no. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that in there. Uh, can't use the magnum rounds. Don't really want to use the knife or the knife. Um, I could use the blue herb, but I think... I guess we're going with explosive rounds. We're just going all in. I got pistol, in case, and rocket. The rocket didn't seem like it actually has splash damage, really. It just kind of looks like it goes and hits something. So. Okay, I'm going in. I'm going in. Hi there, two burly men. Bread. Get that Barry. Okay, no, oh, he's figured it out. It takes a hot moment to like. Oh, check it out. Uh, is that a battery? Do I need a battery? I just plugged up my inventory for the door. Yeah, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> that's kind of annoying. Alright. We, we need the herb. That's kind of annoying. <laughs> oh well. It's not like I'm going to use it anyways. Maybe I shouldn't have carried the explosive rounds. Or a pistol. The reason for this? Alright. Oh, because I gotta pick up something in the middle of the fight, maybe, so they want me to have a free inventory space. Okay, I've got three minutes. Okay, it's 10, 21, 15. Oh, I don't even oh, have to count. No. You must be kidding. After you've come all the way here. Ladies first, 
Go first, Jill. But Chris... Give me a chance to play nice guy. Okay, I leave it up to you. That, See you again at the heliport. That is 21 whole seconds. I, oh my god, that's 23 seconds, Jill. <laughs> Jill, that's too much time. You can't waste it like that. Oh, now you gotta sit in the lift. Oh my gosh, Jill. Jill. Well, this is gonna be a super quick... I guess the bosses aren't that quick to begin... Oh, sorry, aren't that long to begin with. It's just like... Just bulkier than everything else. Okay, cool. Oh, there's a box here. What's in the box? A flare seems important. It looks like a nerf gun dart, but... I'll grab it. I guess I just stand on the helipad and use the flare? Cool. Hi there. Hello. Oh, there he is. Okay, Jill, you're standing right on the pad. It's awfully narrow as well. His blades are like just gonna tap. Yeah, right here, man. Right here. Right here. Oh boy. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's back, and he's steamy. Okay, okay, okay. Get out of here. Oh, he runs! Whoa! Okay, okay, he's gonna, he's gonna dash after me again, right? Yep, there he goes. Oh. Okay, how's my health? Okay, it's okay. Ah. Oh. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Don't don't do this to me! Don't do this to me! Oh no! How do you? No! No! Don't do it! Oh no! No! Jeez! No! Ah, uh, okay. Health is fine. Ah, uh, ah. Uh. Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh my gosh. Oh, camera. It's coming! Jill! Kill that monster! Come on, Amazon, Jill! Uh, flame, acid. We'll go with flame. He's a zombie. Just load it in there. Okay. Okay, no, 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 I'm gonna dodge him, I'm gonna dodge him. I'm gonna dodge him, because he's gonna run after me. He's gonna run after me. He's gonna run after me. He is deciding to not run- No, he is! Get him out of it. Uh, no! I should have picked up what's on the ground. I should have picked up what's on the ground. Dang it. Dang it! Ah! Uh. So close. So close, my man. So close. Just for reference, that's that's it, right? There's a countdown. I've, I've played Metroid before. If there's a countdown and a boss, that's it. Actually, Metroid, the original Metroid, didn't have the countdown until after the boss. Start over. Start the whole game. You just don't start the whole game again. All right. So I at least I sorted my inventory here. Um, I need the perfect run. I'm gonna put away the pistol when I get to the end. I don't need the pistol. It's like... I just need like... All my stuff, basically. And then I'm set. So, okay. So we're gonna turn right here. Whoop, hi. Hi. Oh, <laughs> he's coming! Oh lord! Oh, there's a second one! Oh, I was, I was wondering how he got up there pretty quick. <laughs> oh boy. But yeah, no, I don't need the shotgun or the pistol. I have way too many bazooka ammo. Tell me off of that one. I was holding on to that because I was like, oh, I'm going to need it. I'm going to need it right until the end of the game. And then it's like, yeah, no, I don't... 
I could probably use it a little bit more. Hey. <laughs> oh, Jill. Sorry for keeping you. It waiting. is kind of annoying having so to sit through these again. Everything is done. Well, almost yes. Now let's go. But yeah, no, I I I can definitely say like I was amazed how approachable this game is. I know I know I'm apparently a consulist towards PS1 games, but like legitimately like. It's not hard to play. It has the spirit that I want out of a survival horror. And as, as someone who's not really played much horror, it's like, I this captures it. It's not Let's go. the most spookiest game, but you definitely feel the gravitas of taking hits. It feels like you get a little bit of wiggle room, but not a lot. You feel like you're leaning on... Yeah, exactly, exactly. It, it, it like... It's influential, and you can feel it right on this first game. Um, and it's it, it's been a treat. It's been a real, like, you know, treat going in blind and really not knowing much about it. And then just, like, what is Resident Evil? Because it just exists. It's just like... Okay, so that's... Wow, okay. That's the shotgun gone. That's all, that's all I need to use the pistol on. I'm glad there's no more pistol. The triggering system. I, I, I do wish this save was a little closer. They have done a great job up until this point having a save just there. Like, yeah, there's not really much you're up against. But it's also like, yeah, there's a... There's a fair bit you're up against. Like, so. Alright, so the bazooka's there. Uh, pull out the other green herb. Uh, we're doing acid rounds. Uh, acid rounds. And I guess explosive rounds, and that's it, because I don't have any other ammo. And then I merge the, um, the two here. And now I've got three healing items instead of one. Which should give me a little bit more wiggle room. I think three is comfy. So, um, and I guess as well, like I'm playing just Jill. There's all the whole Chris playthrough, Hurry. which has like its differences that I know a couple off the top of my head. But I'd imagine it's like, oh, you know, your interactions with the characters are a little different. Some of the rooms I couldn't go into. It's kind of neat. Um, as well, I'm playing the director's cut. It's like this is the original version in the director's cut that I'm playing, but there's a there's a baby difficulty, and then there's also a uh, a different director's cut difficulty, which um, not part of this. No, no, I, I've kept this pretty tidy as part of the Halloween streams. Um, I don't have a big intention to go back, but maybe I'll play it in my own free time, and I'll kind of like let you know. Um, but, yeah, not not as part of this, because I feel like this is like, yeah, this is eight hours of stream for this game. I don't really, like, I don't really know if uh, more of it is um, particularly engrossing, because it will be the same areas all over again. Only with six inventory uh, slots instead of eight. But at least he doesn't get captured the whole game. But now I gotta deal with this guy not comboing me. Because that's the kind of like real tricky part. Yeah. Next Halloween? Maybe, maybe. I do have another spooky game that I have on mind. Um, definitely for next year. Uh, I will say right now, the only thing I'll, I'll say is they're updating it so i don't want to play it right at the very second right at the very moment i've got to take out the boss right like even though the guy gave me a thing 
I don't think I really like. Like, I think I've just got to take out the boss. Maybe I'll go with explosive rounds. Or maybe I'll just go like real haphazard on the ammo. Because I've got way too many bullets, way too many rockets. Like, how many rockets am I sitting on? 30? 36? I would have to shoot one every three and a half seconds right now. There's clearly no time for that, so I might as well just go for it. He did take a sweet time landing though. He's like, he's right up there. He's not doing any, any justice shooting him. Where did he learn this dash move, by the way? Okay, so, one, I don't even have it equipped. That's cool. And two, let's bolt. Because he's right there. Okay, hi. Wah. There you go. Come on, dash at me. Yeah. Wah. Okay. Thank you. Your Amazon? Is that what he said? Oh. Whoa. Okay, you are just sitting on the ammo. Oh, good. Get off the ammo! Oh, no, I'm not getting the ammo in that direction. I'm not getting the ammo in that direction. Okay, this is terrifying. Hi oh. Okay, oh, still bad. Still bad. Ugh. I just want that. I just want that. What is it? Oh, okay. No, I never had the R launcher. I had the G launcher. Okay, dodge. Okay. Uh, equip that. Turn around. Oh jeez! Oh jeez! Oh, I'm having a seizure! <laughs> oh my gosh! Okay. It's a shame I didn't grab that one last time. <laughs> we did it! We did it! He turned into four limbs and a head. Kapow! So that's it! That was a neat, fun little final boss. You know, the, the two phaser as well. Gotta appreciate it. Ooh, rickety landing, but uh, I guess this area is big enough for a helicopter, so. Are we gonna bring back the full motion video? Please bring back the full motion video, I missed it. Oh, <laughs> there it goes! There it goes. Everybody died a. Just gotta look at my gun for a bit. Chris, I don't think you shot a single bullet the entire game. Actually, no, you did. You did it off screen at the very beginning. And that's it. Happy days. Whole lab blew up. We're done. We did it! Woo! First name basis, apparently. Uh. Where was Rebecca Chambers this entire game? Maybe a Chris thing. Ooh, pro hits right here. Ah, that was that was good fun. That was actually good fun. I I was surprised at how yeah how approachable the whole thing was. Like, you know, I was daunted by like oh the regular enemies are a pain. You know the bosses seem scary, but you get there. You try a couple of times and you'll get it. You get given just about enough equipment to make to make it work out. This this music is me. Uh, are we about to have a Jill sandwich? Oh, she made it. And and my audio is cutting out because I got to follow. Thank you very much, my man. What is actually going on, Task Manager? 
Three CPU, excuse me. The game is playing. What are you doing? <laughs> the emulator is just panicking. We'll put it on high, bro. Okay, let's put it on high. Let's fix it. I've actually, I've had so many weird CPU issues recently. I'm just like, stuff is not like, uh, prioritizing quite the best. So, uh, alas, I have, I have ruined the illusion that this is on an emulator. I already did that in the first stream, didn't I? Because every time I paused, it would open the options menu. No, when I walked into certain rooms, it would open the options menu. And that's a fun bug that's still not fixed in the uh, <laughs> current best PlayStation 1 emulator. Very amazing. Resident Evil. But nah, that was good fun. That was a good fun game. Oh, there she's sitting there. 558 Number of saves, 28. Please tell me off for the fact that I didn't do it in three hours and therefore I couldn't see the main character wear slightly less clothing. It's a very Metroid-y kind of thing to do, isn't it? Tell them to play time, so... But yeah, nah. That, also, that makes me think, wow, two hours of that, of, like, my streams was just unloaded. Amazing, so... So that's it. That's Resident Evil. Woo! You got the special key. Wait. So if I go back to memory card one and I save here, is this like a zero? Ah, main hall one F. Will it let me go into that room right away or do I have to play for the game to like get up to that room? Cause like, yeah, let's, I, I assume I'm gonna load in and it's just play the game again, but I've got the key there. But I'm curious, yeah, what is in that room? You've teased me, game, and I'm gonna I'm gonna take up your offer. I'm gonna take up your offer, but oh jeez. They've teased me. You need the key from the plant room. Oh, you gotta play through half the game in order to get to that room. You can change outfits. What and and you gotta sit through this. What a mansion. I do remember. I think the room after this was locked, so yeah. Captain Wesker, where's Chris? I need the fertilizer. Stop it! Don't open that door! Don't open that but door! Chris is... Yeah, that's the only time Chris fires a bullet it? the entire game. Maybe it's Chris. Now, Jill, can you go? I'm going. So you need the fertilizer, but then you Chris can change outfits. It's still kind of cool that you get like get a little bonus okay. like that, though. Um. <laughs> That was Ken- Oh, that's not even Chris! <laughs> oh my gosh, Chris. Where- Stay where alert. even is Chris in this entire thing? Like, he went into the mansion with you. And he's just... not there? Come on, Chris. Come on. And, uh, again, no Rebecca in the entire, like, playthrough. I, I find it's just interesting to introduce all these characters and then, uh, they're not there. But, yeah, no, it, it was good fun. Becky's in Chris's game. Investigate if you hear any gunfire. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna get told. <laughs> oh, I can't even turn around. Dang it. Dang it, Wesker. Oh. Oh well. Anyways, I think that's a, that's a wrap, isn't it? That's just like a straight start to finish, but I feel very accomplished. Um, yeah, there's the special key. You can't use it here. I feel very accomplished. I, I'm, I'm glad I've put in the effort. I've played the game. I've beaten it. I can now say I've beaten Resident Evil. You know, I feel really good, so. Um, yeah, anyways, uh, I shall call it there for the stream. So yeah, if you've, if you've enjoyed this, uh, I guess both of you are watching me live uh, already followed, so that's all good. But, uh, if you at home uh, are watching this as a VOD, because a lot of people watch the VOD, uh, or if you're watching on YouTube, you can follow there, um, if you, if you want to see the up, well, the exact same thing again. <laughs> that's all good. 
Uh, and yeah, you can stick around live. I will be streaming next week again, 8:30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard. Da uh, no, it's daylight time. Um, so yeah, same time next week um, for a different game, a non-spooky game. Turn off your spooky mode uh, for a little longer. There's still another 79 minutes of Halloween here in Australia. There's bound to be more time of Halloween where you're at, unless you're watching this vod later, in which case, no, you're not. There's no more Halloween. You gotta wait until next year. So uh, until then, enjoy the spooky, uh, the spooky season. Trick or treat. Stay safe. Uh, eat your greens, and. Uh, Give me that egg, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Have a good one, everyone.